Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my summer nightmare. So, we've just lost the bike. Bikey, bikey dead. So we're gonna go catch the bus. We're gonna take the bus over to the town. In the town, we're gonna get some gas here and we're going to go get the station wagon that we dealt with the beehive out of. So, once that's all taken care of, then we'll head on down to the mansion. We'll get the wheels. And we'll head back and actually return to work. And then maybe next episode we can actually get the car finished. We're going to have to really start paying attention to the fuel in the vehicles now that we don't have that gas canister. Honestly, like I have no idea where that could possibly be. So I'm probably just going to have to prop spawn it next to me or something. I'm trying to keep this as legitimate as possible. But I feel like there's just certain things that if they go wrong, you're just kind of screwed. I'll probably just install a trainer real quick and then spawn the gas canister back to me is the sun going up or down it's going up thank god okay so timo should be open by the time we actually get there uh... all right well we i didn't bother you know showing any of the bus bits just because you know it's a bus and that's only so entertaining unfortunately i think this place is closed it's not wow all right in that case uh what do i need i need a case of beer and I need some chips. All right, let's just, let's just do, eat this on Tino's porch, I guess. All right, so there should be plenty after this to get the septic truck up and running again, thankfully. All right, so that's closed off. Let's go pay Timo real quick. How much do I owe you? 66 bucks, whatever, screw you. All right, now let's get the thirst all the way down because we're gonna have to walk to the car now. All right. Let's go. So I'm a little stressed, I'm a little dirty, and I'm a little tired. All the classic staples of a man who ran out of gas and had to walk to the store. Can you imagine? You're just some kids playing soccer and you accidentally kick your ball toward this drunk man who's hobbling across a field with a diesel can. Like, do you even go after your soccer ball at that point or do you just, like, accept it as lost? This is just walking simulator today, isn't it? Is that a dude walking over there? I mean, I, I guess it's like, you know, it's I can't really judge him considering I am literally doing the exact same thing, but at the same time, I, 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 gotta, I gotta judge him, you know? Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> I guess if you spend the whole time you're walking staring at your phone, you're bound to rock, in, to rock into a walk sometime. Yeah, that came out the way I was planning on it coming out. You walk into a rock, you don't rock into a walk, you rock into the walk when you walk to the rock. Unless you're not walking and then you're rocking. If you're rocking, then you can rock into a walk, but it'd be more of a transitional state between rock and rolling, you know, and then just going for a walk. So yeah, that's what I meant. See, th see, that's an example of walking, but you see, since we passed him, we're clearly rocking. My brain has numbed itself too much after all of this so let's just let's just go get the tires then i guess and head home maybe take a quick nap head back to the store and get my beer first maybe because i'm kind of thirsty now regardless all that really matters is that things are looking up boy oh boy i hope there's gas in this car what the hell no i thought we had handled this let's go bitch let's go let's go let's go bitch let's go let's go I don't have time for you anymore. I'm going to assume that that's dealt with. It better be, because I'm going to go for a nap. Oh, I regret nap time. I regret nap time greatly. Where the hell is the car? I can see nothing. Wait, that's the front of the car right there, so... Now we're inside. Alright, okay. There's the handbrake. Where's the ignition? I don't know what that was. That was a door, maybe? There it is. Now where the hell are the lights? Wait, there's wipers. Wait. Oh, yes! Hmm. So the thing's basically running on E. Let's see if we can get back in time before it runs out. Okay, we can do this. I totally have faith in what's happening here. Nothing about any of this gives me any sort of discomfort. No. Don't do that. There's no seatbelt. Alright, no, I don't know. I don't... We need to get back before we run out of gas. Preferably. Seeing as though it literally says we're running on empty. 
Oh, that's a hard left. Okay, nope, not too hard left. Come on, you can do this car. That, I believe that for once, things can go in my favor. Oh my god, I think we just lost her. Oh god, I really hope the gas tank is on the right side. Oh, it better be. Oh, thank god. Alright. He's over there. But he's closed. No, Timo. I just need gas. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what to do to kill time right now. Because Timo is still not here. Do not believe he is in here unless he snuck by me, which he did not. The sun is now only just beginning to show. Which means a good another 20 minutes before Timo arrives. And then a good another 30 minutes before he arrives and then opens the store. But until then, like, what else do I have to do? Unless I can get gas in this thing, I can't go anywhere. And it doesn't make any sense to leave it behind, especially at this point. Like, I gotta go get my... I gotta go get my tires. I got this feeling inside my bones. Maybe I should just kill myself so I go home. I got this boredom inside my brain. It's just so painful, it makes me want to do coke. Supposed to be open at 10. What time is it? Oh, it looks like it's time for skin. And whatever the hell that texture over there is. Alright. Back to bed. Okay. He's got to be here by now. Thank you, Timo. Alright, so now we need... Okay, so now we need to go get the tires from the mansion as well as... I think that's it. I mean, we need to get the septic truck still and the motorcycle on the way back, but those shouldn't be too bad. Okay, how much was that? 153. Jesus. Okay. Let's get two two strokes. And I don't want to buy another fire extinguisher. All right. We'll just get the two strokes. We're going to have to take our chances with the nest over at the mansion. I, I just don't have it in me to pay for another fire extinguisher. Maybe there's something left in the one that we have. I doubt it, but, I mean, I can be hopeful. Good thing I didn't kill myself before, because I wouldn't have had the screwdriver anymore, and that would have literally made me want to die. Oh, I forgot to buy more beer. I'll be right back. Timo, my man. I forgot to buy a lot of beer. Yeah, it's... You can't, you can't skimp on the necessities, am I right? Really, dude? He just bent the frame a little bit, but I don't really care. How could I possibly care about the frame on this thing? Also, I do appreciate the fact that the game literally gave us just enough fuel to get to the gas station. Like, literally, we couldn't have made it with any less fuel. Something about my driving position in this car just feels really off. I think it's just the fact that the windshield's so tiny and the roof's so low in the front. All right, so before I get to Fleetari's, I believe that my instructions said that the mansion was on the left before I get to Flutari's. So if I reach Flutari's, I've gone too far, and if it's not near Flutari's, then I didn't go far enough. Basically, that's that's kind of the impression I'm under. So past this, obviously. Great day to go to a mansion, isn't it? Now, I'm pretty sure that this thing will get pulled over at, or fined at least, at every police checkpoint because it doesn't have plates. So, I'm kind of hoping that there's not a police checkpoint. I don't think there is, because I have, don't think I've died since the last time I drove around. I think I just crashed and then walked and took the bus, but I think it's the same life since I last drove around there. I didn't see a police checkpoint. So, I think that I, it's safe to assume there isn't one. Alright, wait. Oh, this is the mansion right here. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Alright, so it said that I needed a, uh, something, but it said that this would do to break the front gate open. Oh, I don't like this. Well, they weren't wrong about that. That definitely worked. Now I just gotta go in there and hopefully not get jump scared by the ghost that I hear is in here. And also, a hornet's nest. Okay. I hear the hornet. But I see no hornet. And I see no ghosts at the moment. What's down here? Oh, just a little exit. Alright, well that wasn't nearly the worst spot. I thought for sure that that was going to be a horrible experience, but that wasn't so bad. Alright, I'm probably going to die. But I really want these tires. 
And I don't even know how much power is left in these, this fire extinguisher, to be honest. It probably has nothing left in it. Where, there they are. So as long as we can get the tires to the fuck. No, stand up. Stand up, my dude. Dude, stand up. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. Why couldn't he stand up? Okay, on the bright side, we know where the tires are, and we're closer than we've ever been. And our doors are halfway into the wall. Let's... All right, they're still halfway into the wall. That's right. Almost forgot the screwdriver. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive to the end of the road by the bus stop. Then we're going to wait for the bus. Take the bus op over to, to Fleetari's. And then we're going to walk from Fleetari's over to the station wagon and then we're gonna take the station wagon back but we're gonna pick up the motorcycle on the way to the bus stop load the motorcycle back into the station wagon when we drive it back then we'll take the motorcycle after we refill it with the two-stroke gas that's in the station wagon then we'll take the motorcycle from the house back to the end of the street load it in the van and drive the van back and that way we'll get all cars back. Nope, not now, not now, not now. Nope, overcorrected, not now, not now. We're fine. Okay, a 15 second burst from a fire extinguisher will be enough to kill the hornets, which is about one third of the contents. So, we did that, I'd say we fired it for about 30 seconds. So if that's one third, that leaves us with the possibility of just having enough to get rid of the hornet's nest. Oh boy, I hope that there's enough. Who puts like a stack of four tires in an abandoned mansion's attic anyway? Like, come on. All right, we're gonna turn the side of this road right here into a park and ride. I like how he just totally misses the mark on this one. Like, there's so much space where you could just safely stop, and instead he's like, nah, I like the ditch. So I guess the question now is, is it worth risking my life to try and get that thing out of there? YOLO. Can I shove these out the window? Alright. <laughs> Not even gonna bother with that hornet's nest. This is good enough for me. Okay, get the fire extinguisher, now find the staircase. That doesn't help. Stop it. Where's the staircase? Oh no! It's so dark! Alright, now I'm at the window. I went out the window. Alright, that works. Let's just get the headlights on and pull around to the side. That's probably the best option at this point. What the heck have I done? Alright, where are my tires at? Let's see, what window the- Oh no, wait, what? Where's the attic window that I was at? Their tires should be like right here. There's one. Okay, cool. I've been I've been overthinking this. This is the answer. Just sleep it off. Don't need to worry about the hornets anymore. All right. So you got one wheel. There's two wheel. There's three wheel. And there is four wheel. No. 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 Four wheel. All right. We got him. <laughs> only took like 16 years but I mean I think it went pretty smooth this thing just cannot get the RPMs up to a point where it's happy no 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 ah uh, okay so that's one way to go about that but it works we have all four tires Oh. And we're off. Alright, now please don't let there be a police checkpoint around this corner. This car is very illegal. We have the tires. No matter what happens now, we can build the Satsuma. <sighs> Do I dare even try to overtake? I don't think so. I, I think I'm pretty happy not trying to overtake. I like how he how was so insistent to overtake me, but he gets stuck behind a van and it's just... Alright. Can't pass a van. Oh no. That's not a police... No, there's nobody standing. Okay, I thought that was a police outpost for a second. I almost had a goddamn heart attack. Alright, so we're gonna need to get the... 
motorcycle. We'll come back for this thing and all of these pieces. But we're going to need a motorcycle, so let's get that in there. Before I leave, is there anything else I might want just to make the Satsuma easier? Yeah, we'll get this. We'll get the coolant. We'll get the motor oil. And there was a fire extinguisher back here. I knew there was. Wait, did I get motor oil already? I don't know. Never have too much motor oil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. And then this is, I think, the only bit of food we have at this point. Mosquito spray is always good to have. I'm just doing this in case we don't come back for the van soon. Another macaroni box. That's good. That's good to have. And then I think we'll bring this can of black paint just in case we want to do something fancy with the Satsuma later. All right. That should just about cover it. Yeah, that, no, oops. Almost forgot the oil filter. I don't know if we put one of those on already or not. Cool, we're absolutely loaded. And this thing barely can move its own weight, so this should be exciting. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Small has a lot easier time getting going in reverse. I don't know why that is. All right, okay, so back on the road. Everything is now set up to the point where we should be able to build the Zatsuma all the way. We should be able to get it running now. And then we can start doing some car finds and some septic tank runs and other things like that. Get some money, take it to Fleetari, have Fleetari fix it. Have Fleetari actually make my crap work functional. And then we should have a working Satsuma. Oh my god, okay. So, we've gotten the van back, we've gotten this car, we've gotten the bike in the back, we have fuel for that, we have fuel for the boat, we have diesel for the septic truck way over there. The van is still at the street, the septic truck's in the middle of the road, but it doesn't matter because we can move them all now. We have the ability and we know where everything is. And most importantly, we have all of the parts necessary to get the Satsuma up and running. Oh my god, this is amazing. We finally made it back with everything we need. Okay, let's go ahead and just get these things on here real quick. I'd have to say rear suspension is probably the easiest part of the car. You have no idea how much of a relief it is to finally be at this point. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. That's about as good as it could be. Anyway, next episode, we'll probably go get the van, and then we'll probably go and start working on a Satsuma. Or we might just work on a Satsuma right away and not even go get the van this episode. There's no real rush on that, so... Yeah. Anyway, things are going well. I'm happy. We're finally gonna get some progress done on this thing. Ah! Yes! I'm stoked. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's going to work out pretty well. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know down in the comments. I think that things are actually starting to turn around, and that is such a relief. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. This thing off? Yep. Awesome. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.